Everybody is talking about MCPs, but what are they and are they really the next big thing in the world of AI? In this video, I'll explain what MCP is, we'll build an MCP server that we'll use inside of Cursor, and then I'll talk about some of the limitations and issues that I see with MCP and what I think needs to happen for MCPs to really take off. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol, and it is not a new technology. It is simply a standard defined by Anthropic to make it easy for AI agents to talk to other software systems. It's essentially a set of rules for an API to follow to make it easy for an AI to interact with that API. So hopefully that dispels a lot of confusion because there's really not much going on here. It's just a set of rules for an API to implement. But if that's the case, why would you even bother? Well, MCP is actually a good idea because it makes it so that these AI platforms don't need to integrate with all of these other software systems one by one. They don't have to build like a hundred different connections. They can just integrate with MCP and then immediately get access to all of these other tools. What MCP does is make sure that all of these tools that are implementing APIs following the protocol properly describe all of the ways in which AI can interact with their system. So they'll describe the different endpoints, how they can receive data, what sort of data they can return to the AI, and the AI agent is gonna be able to use those endpoints to discover what's possible and then use the proper tool calls to retrieve and submit the proper data to that other system. Now, you could absolutely do this without MCP. You could simply create an API and create some API documentation, give it to the AI agent, and then it'll be able to talk to your system. But MCP makes it standardized so that by integrating with it, you're able to immediately get integrations to every other software that has implemented MCP. Now let's go ahead and implement our own MCP server. And as you'll see, it'll be a pretty simple backend server with a few well-defined API endpoints. We're going to implement a weather MCP that retrieves the weather forecast for a particular location. And we're gonna be using this guide to get started. So nowadays AI can actually write most of our code and Anthropic has done a pretty good job of compiling the documentation necessary for an AI agent to write MCPs for us. So following the steps here, first we're gonna visit this txt file and we're gonna copy all of this over into a file in our project. I have a pretty empty project here. I'm just gonna create a new file, mcp-requirements.txt. Paste that in. All right, now we're back to the guide and it says that we either need to look at the TypeScript SDK or the Python SDK. And I'm gonna be using TypeScript, so I'll click on that and it says to copy the readme, so I'll go over to the readme, copy that, and then we'll paste it into our project as well. I'll just call it TypeScript MCP.MD. All right, so now we have all of our documentation in place. I'm gonna go over and switch to agent and make sure I tag both of these files in there. All right. Cursor is suggesting we use a longer context because of that large requirements file, and that's totally fine. Now I'll ask, please implement an MCP to retrieve the weather for a particular location. All right, we'll submit that, and Cursor will get to work. All right, it's creating a project here for us, and now it's creating the main server file. All right, here's our MCP. And now it looks like we're ready to build it and run it. Okay, looks like all the code is there. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure we build it because I don't see a build folder over here. npm run build. All right, there we go. Now this index.js file is the actual MCP and running this file is going to essentially start the MCP server. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get cursor to use the MCP and then we'll walk through some of this code. So file, preferences, cursor settings, then you go down and click MCP, add new MCP server. I'll call it weather. Now there's a drop down with two options, command or server side events. And what this means is that if you use the command type, it's an MCP server that is running directly on your computer and using standard input output to communicate with the AI tool. Now, the SSE is going to be a standard REST API 
that is going to use server sent events to communicate with the AI agent. So the MCP that we just created is a command based one and I'm gonna copy the path of my index file and that is what we're going to add here. We're gonna write node because that's the command that's gonna run and then we're gonna paste in the full path of the file and we'll call this weather. Click add. All right, and you see this window popped up. That is cursor essentially starting the MCP in its own sort of shadow environment, so to speak. And it looks like it has properly connected. So let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm gonna go over, open a new agent chat here, and I'll just ask, what is the current weather forecast in New York? We'll send that off. So the cursor agent knows the coordinates, and now it's trying to call our MCP. And it's going to pass this data into our MCP. And specifically, it's calling the get forecast endpoint. We're gonna go ahead and run it. Oh, it's also going to get any alerts. Sure, let's do that as well. Okay, so now all of this data was retrieved in real time through our MCP. So let's take a look at the actual code and see what's going on there. So at the top, we're creating this new MCP server. And then we are defining specific endpoints within that server. So we're saying, okay, here's a tool that it has. We're giving that tool a name. We're giving it a description that is going to help the AI agent figure out when it should actually use this tool. And then we're giving it a description of what the inputs are going to look like. This is what the agent is expected to submit into your tool to use it. So if we look over at the forecast tool, we expect a latitude and a longitude, and there's going to be some restrictions for the type of numbers that we can submit. And there's gonna be a description of what the actual input means. This is going to be used by the AI agent to properly communicate with this tool. And then of course, we define a function for what to actually do with these inputs. And in our case, we're going to be calling this API. And then if for some reason we don't have the location, this tool is going to return an error. And there's a couple of other error handlers here. And then finally, we're going to get the forecast and format it into this string and then return it. So this is what happens when it succeeds. It's going to return that forecast text to the AI agent. And then the AI agent is going to be able to use it in whatever else it's doing. I have a link in the description for this code, so feel free to check it out. After getting this MCP working locally through the command transport, I tried to convert it into a REST API based version of the MCP server, but I struggled to get Cursor to tell me exactly what was wrong with it, so I wasn't able to actually get it working. I might revisit this topic in a more technical tutorial on MCPs, but for now I thought it would be best to just move on. Now let's talk about some of the limitations of MCP and whether they're really worth working on right now. I think the idea as a whole is well-intentioned and I see the value in trying to standardize a protocol so that AI can talk to different systems. However, I'm not sure if MCP is entirely necessary because we already have other standard protocols that enable standardized communication between software systems. There's something called the OpenAPI spec, which some of you might know as Swagger Docs, which is a standard approach to documenting REST APIs. It's already been adopted by thousands of different tools and developers, and OpenAI actually used it as the foundation of their custom GPTs. I understand that MCP is trying to be a little bit more opinionated and focused on this kind of AI agent use case, but I'm still not entirely sold that it's necessary because it does require all of these developers that make the actual tools or these MCP servers to create these additional sets of endpoints that follow these specific rules. So the marginal value for a tool to add MCP compatibility is not super clear to me, especially when AI agents can read arbitrary documentation and follow it to call your standard API. But if we just assume that every tool is going to implement MCP compatibility, there are still some major issues, such as the fact that MCP offers no guidance in terms of authentication or authorization, which means that all of these MCP servers you're building essentially assume that you are in a secure environment and you should have access to all of the data. 
This is not gonna be the case in an enterprise kind of application where you want to make sure that users are only able to see the things that they should be able to see. Now, Anthropic does have this at the top of their priority list for adding to MCP, but until that's in place, there's really no good solutions in making sure that your MCP servers are secure. Another big problem is discoverability. As you saw in our demo, we still had to add our MCP to cursor. So this is gonna be the case with any MCP server and there's no central repository or kind of package manager for MCPs. So you have to either stand up your own MCPs or just trust that some random MCP that somebody is hosting is going to be okay for you to use. But given the fact that these MCPs contain arbitrary backend code, it's really not a good idea to just use other people's MCPs unless you know exactly what they're doing. Because as far as you know, their MCP might be requesting your API keys and your AI agent is just gonna hand it over to them. And since anybody can just make MCPs and there's no central authority making sure that they are of higher quality, that means that you have to be really careful about the code that is actually running in that MCP and you have to be the one that makes sure that it is working properly. So it really is kind of a wild west situation right now and I don't think it's going to get any better until there's some kind of central marketplace for MCPs that allows you to quickly integrate with them and has user reviews so that you can make sure that this is legitimate and ideally has some kind of verification process for the people that are creating these MCPs so that you have a sense of the quality of them. The final thing I'll note is that this is just the communication protocol. So you are still responsible for developing the MCP server, for hosting it, for deploying it. It's, it's just another layer on top of your existing API. So while I do think it's a good idea to enable these AI agents with a standardized set of tools, I do think there's still a lot of work that needs to be done to make MCPs practical and useful in real world scenarios. But how do you feel about MCPs? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.